Continuing coverage tonight in the case of a murdered Coachella Valley couple. The preliminary hearing continuing today for four suspects in the case. Jonathan Reynoso and Audrey Moran disappeared in May of 2017. Three years later, skeletal remains were identified as them. Today, more witnesses in the case taking the stand in a preliminary hearing. News Channel 3, Samantha Lomibau, live at the courthouse in Riverside tonight with up to the minute development. Samantha. Hey, good evening, John. Yes, a lot of updates to give today. That preliminary hearing day two coming to an end. And just a reminder that this preliminary hearing is to determine if there's enough evidence to even move forward with a trial in this case. Now today, Aaron, Bernal, Manuel Rios, Abraham Fergoso, and Adeline Castaneda appeared in court again. Now, Fergoso, Bernal, and Castaneda faced one count each of murder and being an accessory to a crime after the fact, while Rios faces two counts of murder. Now, two other suspects involved have already pled guilty, and today five witnesses testified, including three Riverside County Sheriff's deputies, one person from Cal Fire, and the most compelling, a person who has already pled guilty in this case. Now, that witness, who we cannot name at this time, described what he remembered back in 2017 prior to the murder. Now, the witness said he lived in a house with one of these suspects, Abraham Fragoso. Now, that witness said he was digging a hole for trash in the backyard when Fragoso told him to make it bigger. Cement was later poured into that hole, and about a week later, the witness said Rios and Fragoso told him, quote, there was an accident. Now, a reminder that we have been allowed in the courtroom, but we cannot show video of the witnesses, but we can share the audio. Now, eventually, that hole was dug up at a later date, the witness describing what he discovered. Other than cement, did you see anything else while you were digging up the hole? One or two body parts that were seen in me. Okay, that's one thing. So you said, I saw one or two body parts. Can you describe for us what it was that you saw? Mm -hmm. I don't know what, what it could have been bones. I think it was probably bones, two bones. Okay. So when you say you saw body parts, you remember seeing bones? Bones. Now, the witness also said Adeline Castaneda told him there was a drug. A drug deal that had gone bad. Now it was unclear if Reynoso and Audrey Moran were involved in that, but the witness said Casaneda told him she gave Jonathan Reynoso CPR at some point and that someone had choked Audrey Moran. What did Adeline Castaneda tell you about that? Evening? Something happened at the house and he ended up, she ended up giving him CPR. Okay. When you say she ended up giving who? Adeline ended up giving Jonathan CPR and then when he left the house, and I guess they were from Jerry's house, and that's where he, he passed away. Now, yesterday, three witnesses also testified, including two Indio police officers and a former roommate who lived in a house with Aaron Bernal back in 2017, and bringing the number of witnesses up to eight. Now, like I said, a lot of new details coming to light, but there's still a lot of questions that remain unanswered. The preliminary hearing is scheduled to start back up in the morning, and of course, I'll have updates for you throughout the day. Live in Riverside, Samantha Lomibau, News Channel 3. Yeah, thank you, Samantha.